Aaron, what do you make of Hap's night? Seven strikeouts, just two hits, but again, hurt by the long ball. <clears throat> yeah, I thought early on was struggling a little bit just, just with his command, you know. I thought missing with some close pitches as well. Um, and and the home run again, you know, I, I was I was good with the pitch selection. It was a changeup that that kind of cut on him right down the middle, and and Moore put a really good swing on it. You know, following a walk, um, you know, and all of a sudden, you know, it's it's three runs tagged on him. I thought he did a good job in the fourth when he when he got in trouble, of kind of really finding it. I started thought he started really filling up the zone. I thought the stuff was crisper, and I thought it, you know the last two innings, um, I thought he finished really strong and. Um, you know, I even toyed with with sending them back out, but at 95 pitches there at that spot, I thought it was the the right thing to get him out of there. But um, I thought he I thought he finished the night real strong after after kind of finding the command a little bit. You mentioned bouncing back after that home run. Did you feel like the fastball improved as the night went on? I did. Uh, that's what I thought. You know, I, th I actually thought in Oakland last week, maybe from the get-go, maybe stuff a little crisper, but I thought he found that the second half of his outing, um, and I thought he threw the ball well from there on. What was happening with Garen there, just a ma matter of his delivery of the ball? Yeah, uh, just, I mean, a discrepancy with, you know, how he you know, kind of taps when he goes back. And it, it's something that he's dealt with in the past that, you know, has had the, the different conversations with the league and feels like he is, he, he should be good to go. But then we're getting from, from the umpires that they've been getting memos about this. It, it's the first we've, we've heard of it. And, and obviously, you know, Corey it being something he's dealt with was surprised because it's nothing different than what he was told he was approved to do. So it's something that we're obviously going to have to get to the bottom of and, you know, whether it's getting video of what exactly is okay, um, and we'll try and figure that out. Is it unusual that Manny Gonzalez allowed him to throw there to essentially test things out or, or see what if it was okay? It was a little unique, yeah. Mike Ford, you said first thing when he came up here for the first time, we know this kid could hit, but did you ever expect him to contribute the way that he's been contributing over the last two weeks? Um, yeah, to some degree. I mean, if opportunity knocked for him, I, I know he, I'm confident that he can go in there and give us these kind of at-bats. You know, we know the the bat's real. Um, he's obviously been having a great year down at AAA um, and is really taking advantage of an opportunity now like, like so many of our guys have throughout the year. And, um, you know, really, really been nice to see, uh, obviously, especially this road trip. Where's your trust level now with that? Uh, good. I mean, he. We feel, again, we feel like we're making some progress each and every outing. We're seeing a lot of good each and every outing. Again, it's the mistakes though that, um, you know, have been homers that have really cost them. Um, so, you know, hopefully, we can build again off of the positives out of this outing. Again, it's a win. It's five innings. It's um, leaving with a lead. Um, and finishing really strong. So hopefully this is something that he, he, he can kind of continue to build on.